So basically what happened is uh, Bethesda said, hey, Facebook, Oculus owners, mm -hmm. some shady stuff went down when you guys got our tech. Yeah. You hired, uh, you hired uh, Palmer Lucky. Yeah. Yeah. And you hired well, John Palmer, Carmack. Palmer Lucky is the is the founder of Oculus. He's mm -hmm. the original owner before it got sold to Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, this lawsuit's getting real nasty. Uh, the court did. They asked for two billion. Yeah. Two billion dollars. They got five hundred million. But uh, so now that the court has decided in Bethesda's favor, Bethesda's going even further, saying like, "We don't want you shipping any more Oculuses. We yeah. want more." Yeah. But to, to catch everybody up, basically. Uh, Bethesda believes that their employees stole the technology that was yeah. developed while they were at Bethesda, and they took it over to Facebook and Oculus during mm -hmm. that merger. And uh, now Facebook's making bank, and Bethesda's kind of like, or Zenimax is like, hey, that's our tech. Yeah. You developed that under us. Yeah. And uh, their, they their won. Their theory is that John Cormack left Zenimax, uh, uh, you know, he was... A long time id employee. Yeah. And uh came back for some reason. No, they believe they believe Palmer Lucky did that. Really? So, oh, no, it's just right here. Return to Zinemag, John Cormack. Carmack. Who, Carmack, who worked at Zinemax previous to moving to Oculus, returned to Zinemax and took a code and tool used for developing VR. Something Carmack denied. Oh, is this the is this the fault from Zenimax? Yeah. Okay, so that's their follow up to it. Uh they also say in or in a follow up statement that he googled how to wipe a hard drive. Who did? Carmack. Oh wow. Yeah, okay. like right after he got notified with the lawsuit, apparently he googled how to wipe a hard drive. Gotcha. But I mean, the dude knows computers, so yeah. I think the internet's blown it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I just I like Carmack, so I don't want to think that he would have done something. Bad. Sure. Um, but yeah, uh, so Bethesda's won, and now this is probably going to go back in the court. Like, uh, there's going to be. Uh, like, I think the Oculus team and Facebook, they're mm -hmm. going to take it back into court. They're going to keep it on litigation for years. Yeah. And, uh, well, because they don't want to, they either don't want to pay the $500 million or they're going to try to pay less. I think what's bigger is the fact that they would have to alter Oculus to be able to continue to sell it, which is basically, you can't sell Oculus as long as it has, like, the these strings of code or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so they'd have to go back into Oculus, and it's like, what if those are, obviously, they're important. That's why they stole them, allegedly. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, you know, what does the future look like? And it get broader, what does the future look like anyway for Oculus? You know, VR came out last year, and that already seems like most people don't care about it so we talked about this on unlocked uh, yeah. the idea of vr tech it's mm -hmm. a long-term play it's 10 20 years sure long. like it's sure. not like ah, oh, we need to make that oculus money in 2017 yeah, 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 yeah. they're thinking for like the future yeah well and no company wants to be told you can't sell your existing product definitely that sucks mm -hmm. so um it's yeah. a tough spot it's a tough spot uh facebook has the money yeah but the fact that bethesda now has this legal ground to stand on yeah they can do a lot of damage to the Oculus brand. Yep. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens moving forward. Uh, oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one. It's filled with all sorts of legal stuff that I don't really know. Something about the fact that, you know, Rage, which is an engine, he took the mm -hmm. entire engine. I don't know. There's so much stuff. There's a huge so, statement. So the follow-up statement that you're reading, uh, what, what the actual verdict was, uh, the jury found that Oculus co-founder Palmer Lucky mm -hmm. violated the terms of a non-disclosure agreement, but that Oculus did not misappropriate trade secrets as contended by Zenimax. So Zenimax yeah. is saying, hey, they did this, yeah. but that's not what the jury said. The jury's just uh, hitting up Palmer Lucky. So here's how it breaks down. Of the 500 million, Oculus is paying out 200 million for breaking the NDA yeah. and 50 million for copyright infringement. Oculus and Lucky each have to pay 50 million for false designation, mm. and Arrive has to pay 150 million for the same. He's an he's a Oculus co-founder. Okay. Uh, that is a 50 million. It's a lot of cash. That is a lot of cash. I I don't know how uh, Lucky will be able to afford that. I'm just hoping that maybe they'll use that money to build a new engine for Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry, guys. <laughs> Creation's so, got to get out. So here's a quote in the Polygon article. The heart of what this case is about 
the heart of this case was about whether Oculus stole Zenimax's trade secrets, and the jury found decisively in our favor, an Oculus spokesperson told Polygon. We're obviously disappointed by a few other aspects of today's verdict, but we are undeterred. Oculus products are built with Oculus technology. Mm. Our commitment to the long-term success of VR remains the same, and the entire team will continue to wor the work they've done since day one, developing VR technology that will transform the way people interact and communicate. Sweet. And it's more than just games. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's Facebook. Concerts so, and that whole shebang they want to do. That whole yeah. world, exactly. Yeah. Um, a minor setback, I, I guess, you know. As far as, as far as Zenimax, you know, it's money that they could probably use, but for Oculus, probably just more. It's it's a more lot of money for Zenimax. Yeah. For Facebook and Oculus, I mean, it's kind of a, it's a big hit, yeah. but I don't think like, Facebook stock's going to go down. Well, it, even even money is the fact that uh, Oculus is in a weird position where, uh, you know, PlayStation VR is the cheaper option of the, the big three, uh, but it's, like, the easiest one to get. Most people have a PlayStation. The VR unit's $400. Yeah. Uh, it's got first-party support from Play sometimes. Didn't sell uh, well. Didn't, didn't sell well. tremendously well. Sure, but it's, like... I don't know if any of them did, but it's like, then you have the Vive, which is like the granddaddy of VR. You know, it's a thousand dollars. You have to have a dope PC. Uh, but it's like, it's, and then Oculus is just like somewhere in the middle where it's like, I think Oculus I don't, I don't is, is better. It's more user friendly and uh, better easier to set Vive? up. I mean, Vive, you have to like transform your living room and you that do. I don't do. like. I like the idea of Oculus. You just put a thing on your desk, you put the helmet on, you grab an Xbox controller, you're good to go. Yep. For the or most part, little, it's, uh, it's touch things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy-ish. Sure. You know, uh, PSVR, most consumer friendly, mm -hmm. but you lose on quality. You can tell right. immediately if you go from Oculus to PSVR, you can tell there is a dip in quality and that's well, because you're it's stuck, consumer grade. You're stuck with PlayStation's, the, the, the allowed software mm -hmm. where uh, Oculus has access to Steam, which, yeah. could, anyway. But what my point was, uh, hopefully this doesn't mess up. The, the, the bigger loss isn't brand recognition, mm -hmm. not recognition, but you know, like, like that, like quality of life where it's like, well, Oculus, a bunch of thieves, you know, I'm either going to get the Vive or I'm going to get PSVR. Uh, and that could hurt them more in the long run than, than the 500 million. You know? uh, yeah, I don't think that'll happen. I mean, even in the suit, like they're saying it's Lucky. Lucky's the only one that was sure. convicted of anything. Yeah. They didn't find Carmack guilty of anything. Zenimax sure. still pushing that narrative. Mm -hmm. But I mean, he, was, he wasn't found guilty. Lucky well, was. Well, and I think they're going to kind of bank on the fact that most people don't understand or even realize any of this is happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think for us, because we're in the industry, it's really important. This is going to be a big deal. This could impact the Oculus brand and sure. Facebook and the future of how that's going to work. Uh, it's like when Nintendo sues those people for patent infringement. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's well, it's bigger than that, but what's going to happen, we'll have to see. The time will come.